ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Sunday Tea. There are people sitting next to me who are probably confused. I apologize to them. We got some things to talk about this week. First is that there is a new video platform called Vidme, I guess, vid.me, uh, which seems to have a pretty cool community surrounding it, so I'm going to go ahead and start like simultaneously uploading my stuff here and there, because I don't want to lose you guys because you guys are important. But if I can build community in multiple places, then maybe I can have crossover there as well. It's pretty neat. Um, so I'll put a link to my Vidme in the, the thing. There's no ads. So far, I think, on Vidme. I don't know, I have Adblocker installed. There's no ads, not like I had ads on my videos anyway. Uh, the next thing that we're talking about is the Saturday streams. So, I really enjoyed yesterday's stream and the stream from last week where we just played dumb, hacked Mario games. I think we're gonna do that for a while, it seems like it's pretty okay. We're gonna see if we can't do it at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday for days in Japan time. We're gonna try to play through at least a little bit more of uh, Super Mario 64 The Last Impact, which is the first like full ROM hack of Mario 64. It's got like all new levels and all new power-ups and that kind of stuff like that. I'm going back to work uh, Wednesday. Today is Sunday, tomorrow is a national holiday, Tuesday is the uh, entrance ceremony, I guess. And then Wednesday is when classes start back up. My schedule for classes this term is stupid. Like, there's well, there's one class where we only get to see them three times before we have to give them a term-long exam. Which, great, okay. Yeah, it should be fine. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on the stupid shenanigans that happen. Since I didn't really do Sunday tea before, like, when I was still during term last time, so. Patreon stuff. Last month's giveaway was a package full of snacks and stuff, which went out to one of my dear patrons, and that's Adam from Adam's World of Everything, who also has a YouTube channel, uh, link in the description, I guess. Anyway, he is going to be so gracious as to uh, receive the things and hopefully make an unboxing video of them. This month around, it's either going to be a, like a mystery bag from one of the places it's around, or like a, a mystery box. So, because you can get these pretty much all over the place, like uh, merchandise and stuff that's, you, they put it in like a box or like a bag with a big question mark on it so you don't get to see what you get. It's basically like a gacha one, but significantly larger. I will get like a, a figure one or like a, an anime goods one or whatever, so I don't know what will be in it until I get it. And I might not even open it, who knows. Um, and then I'll send it to the winner this time around. Speaking of, of winners, I've got four now. How cool is that? Uh, a gentleman by the name of John uh, joins the ranks during the stream last night. Came on and he was like, Hey, I'm looking at your Patreon page. Here's some questions. And I answer them and he goes, Check your Patreon. Which, what a cool dude. Like, I really appreciate you guys watching my stuff to begin with. But then to, like actually support me on it is is mind-blowing to me. I don't understand why I'm cool enough for that, but I'll take it. Like, it's it's really cool, and I really appreciate it, you guys. So let's talk about Vidme really quick. Vidme's got some interesting things going along with it. They had a successful Kickstarter a couple years back where they wanted to do, like, a, a cross between YouTube and Reddit, where you can upvote and downvote things and stuff like that, which you kind of already have on YouTube with the like and dislike button, but... This one actually calls it upvotes. It's still a relatively small community. There's some sort of there's some backlash right now for like the really big YouTubers who have gone over to Vidme and have like started to take over their front page because their front page is done by algorithm right now. So there's a, a political dude, Andrew Seaman, I think his name is, who's had like 12 videos in the top bit for like a week or something stuff, something straight like that. No, I don't know. I haven't followed it. But a lot of people are angry about it. But I'm not big enough to have that happen, so that's nice. They've got a relatively small community, so like the people that do watch the videos will often like watch and then upvote. And they have a tip system where once you're a verified channel, you can actually there's a, a little button down below your things that says tip this creator, and you can actually just like directly give them money, which they will PayPal to the, the creator. How cool is that? It's really neat. There are fewer algorithms messing with the, the sorting and, and ranking and stuff like that. Right now it seems to just be like stuff that's a hot topic. Uh, they've also got like a moderator's pick area where it's not algorithm based and it's actually based off of people. 
picking the things that they think it ought to be featured, which is cool. And there's less censorship, because there's no advertising on it right now. To the best of my knowledge, I can't actually... I don't know. Um, but since, as I understand it, there's less advertising, uh, it means that they don't have to worry about your things being advertiser-friendly, or whatever other bullshit fucking YouTube's been spouting about, and, like, trying to censor people's videos about things that are... Yeah, uh, graphic or hot topics or whatever, which is news, so you can't do any news stuff at all on YouTube without the threat of censorship. Not like I do news or anything that would be censored, but it's the principle of the thing. Unfortunately, since it's still very, like, young in its infancy, it's missing a lot of key features that I think would help it quite a lot. Like, it doesn't have batch upload, you have to upload each individual video, either, uh, one after another, or upload, or open, like, 50 tabs and try to upload in each one, and I don't know how well their server would take that. There's no scheduled posts yet, so if I wanted to schedule something to go up at, at you know, noon in California time or whatever, I'd have to be up at 5 a.m. here in order to do it. Which is annoying, but whatever, I'll just upload the stuff on there on whatever, whenever I feel like it. I'll we'll try to have them go up the same day at least, but I can't make any promises on that. I'm trying to upload a bunch of my old back stuff on there right now, which is why there's a lot of like really old embarrassing videos on it. Um, there's no, like, annotations or end cards or links or anything like that allowed except for in the description, so it's very, like, old-school YouTube, back before they had that kind of stuff. But the worst part about it is that the videos load really slowly for me in Japan, so I have to, like, if I want to watch a video on there, I have to open it, pause it, let it buffer while I go read something on Cracked or something like that, and then come back to it. But surely that's just because since they're young and in their infancy, they don't have a ton of servers all over. Let's talk about anime in under a minute. So I haven't done one in a while because those, despite only being 66, 67 seconds long, take so much time because I have to either draw all the things and then animate them around the script or, like, draw a, a slightly more detailed long version of the thing and then speed the, the drawing up. So, in lieu of them taking so long to do, if you guys want to help me make those videos by sending me, like, shibi shitty drawings of the characters of whatever anime I'm doing next, and then I can use those in the, the video and credit you in the description and that kind of stuff, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate it. And, like... I'm not gonna just be like, oh, that's how I do the videos from now on. Like, I'm working on Attack on Titan right now, uh, and a friend of mine, Josh, the man, the gentleman who wrote my, uh, my theme song, is so graciously going to do the recording for the audio. So then once that happens, I will put it together with the drawings that either I or my uh, enduring fans will do, and I'll do the editing and the timing and the behind-the-scenes stuff for it, and then when it goes up, it'll be amazing, because it'll be a collaborative effort. Collaboration is key to success. Or whatever other bullshit business people say. So, if you want to help now, I don't have the next anime in under a minute scheduled, but if I did, it would probably go up on the 23rd of January means we've got a couple weeks out of it. So, if you want to be included in that video, then please send me your chibi drawings or shitty, like, sketches of characters and poses and stuff from Attack on Titan by the 20th? Friday the 20th. Friday the- yeah, let's- let's schedule this right now. I'm gonna write it in my- in my thing. I've written it in. You can see it. Anime and under a minute Attack on Titan. If you guys want to be a uh, part of that, then please don't hesitate to drop me some stuff. Since, like, cosplay has been one of my hobbies since forever, and, like, I still love doing it, I just don't have a lot of impetus or time right now, I'm thinking about maybe it would give me more motivation to do my cosplay stuff if I had people who were interested in watching it happen. So I'm thinking maybe I should do, like, cosplay videos, like, cosplay making videos, or possibly cosplay streams. Would you guys be down to, like, chill with me on stream while I work on cosplay stuff once in a while? That'd be super cool, I think. And it would give me the, the impetus to actually do the thing. I have two cosplay plans for 2017 so far. Uh, one of which is Mr. L from Super Paper Mario, uh, who's the, like, evil version of Luigi. And then the other is Gother from Seven Deadly Sins, which I've already started and have been working on for a little while, but just, like, not enough to actually get it done. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Or in the case of VidMe, please upvote and follow. You can also follow my socials. That's the Facebook and Twitter. They're down in the description box. You can also uh, throw some support my direction at the Patreon link that's there as well, if that's something that you would like to do. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So I finished filming the blog. And then I had like a 20 minute conversation with the three girls that were next to me because they were like, oh my god, what are you doing? Are you a YouTuber? Holy shit, we've never met a YouTuber before. And then they were like, how do you learn to speak Japanese like that? Because we need to learn to speak English. And, and that would be super awesome if you could give us tips and shit like that. So I sat and talked to these adorable girls for like half an hour or so and then you remember that lady from like a couple blogs back who was like oh hey uh i i'm i'm interested in what you were doing like i mentioned her in the blog i thought that she was like mad at me for for doing the blogs but then afterwards she turned out to be super chill and was like hey this is really interesting do you want to do, do you want to have a conversation about the the things that you were doing she was there again this week i've seen her three times now <laughs>